June 6, 1944, D-Day, the beginning of liberating Europe and ending World War II. They paved the way for the rest of the, the troops to make it ashore and uh, change the world forever. 75 years ago today, 160,000 Allied troops, including 73,000 Americans, landed on the French beaches of Normandy to launch a take back of Western Europe from Hitler's Nazi Germany. And they had the English and the Americans, the Canadians and the French and the Australians all went in together uh, with one goal and worked as a team. More than seven decades later, the number of D-Day and World War II veterans is dwindling, making each commemoration like the one that will take place at the World War II Memorial in Washington more poignant and an important reminder to the generations that have followed. While President Trump has commemorated the anniversary in the UK and in France, the men behind me will tell you that they are just the lucky ones. All the heroes are buried here. Vice President Mike Pence will speak here in Bedford, Virginia at the National D-Day Memorial. Of the estimated more than 6,000 American troops killed, wounded or missing in action on D-Day, 20 of those killed were from Bedford. With a population of just about 3,200 at the time, it's believed to be the largest toll per capita of any town in the U.S. In Bedford, Virginia, I'm Karen Kafa.